fill our lives. Um, but also there's a void in the shape of Janet Bell. <coughs> and this, you know, and only Janet can properly fill our lives. You know, there's plenty of times to go to that part. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're, we're tickled to hang out with Janet, and she makes us laugh and giggle all the way down to Springfield and back, back to campus. And uh, she drives her. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, you can say that again. <laughs> but no, I just want to talk about men sheets. Uh, uh, yes. A lot of people don't know men sheets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, men sheets is the son of Pat Sheets. Uh, ben has been here a few times. Pat was a pastor of ours up in Georgia. Yes, and uh, uh, Ben was working for Maui Jim out of Peoria. And the reason why he was working for them, uh, he speaks four languages. At least. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so Maui Jim, uh, they, they gave him a, a really a, a incredible position. <coughs> and he was, uh, and they asked him to take uh, the, the, the marketing uh, rep for Europe for Maui Jim. So then this was about five, six years ago maybe that he went and, um, and moved to Madrid, and he worked for Maui Jim for the for four years of that, and uh, maybe four and a half. And then he decided that uh, the Lord was going to take him into ministry, so he resigned from Maui Jim out of Madrid. And uh, just about the same time, he accepted a position with Awakening Europe, <coughs> which is a uh, fundamental evangelical uh, uh, thrust, uh, not only in Europe, but also going to Australia. Other countries, but he's had he has a position with Awakening Europe, and what what was that last link that he sent to me? And I can you give a brief um, synopsis of that? I don't really know where he was at. I don't know if he said where he was at. It's in the last transcript. Okay. Um, but I just wanted to point out if you if you're going to drag me up there, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're already here, so yeah. <laughs> but. Um, ben went with us to uh, a motor drive mission trip probably four or five, five years ago. ago. Yeah. And uh, he has such an incredible anointing on him. There's a place down on the French Quarter called Sarge's Manhole Cover. It's about uh, 1,500 feet from where we do our open air yeah, uh, worship. The theater, yeah. And uh, I said, Ben, we've got to go down here and just stand on this corner. It was our day to preach. I don't know who the leader was. Could have been myself. So everybody had to do some street preaching that day. So Ben just stand on this corner, and I gave him a little history about Sarge uh, McDonald, right? And uh, he also is a, a missionary who's been probably around the world. Most yeah. of his ministry is in Vietnam. Yeah. I'm Vietnam veteran. I don't want to get on a rap trail. So, but Sarge preached from the same spot for years and years. So I said, Ben, just stand here and, and preach. And I'll bet for 20 minutes that guy went on and barely took a breath. And the Holy Spirit just rained down on us. I know it was all over us. Yes. Just watching this guy. Yeah, yeah. So he, he has an incredible anointing uh, to give away mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, he is a, a talented uh, worship leader. And he does uh, lead worship in this uh, mission team that he's with over there. Yes. Yes, in fact, he's, he is the uh, musical worship pastor there at Loran, Germany, for Awakening Europe. That's school. There's a school there. Yeah, but uh, anyway, he sent us a link, and it's, it's depicting a lot of uh, pictures of their recent uh, things that they're doing. He's and, uh, been to Poland and on the border. Yes. We're meeting with refugees coming right. out of Ukraine. Yes. Yes, and uh, so I uh, I know they're they they've been in Belgium. They've been in several European countries doing evangelism, and uh, they they uh, they do what they do street worship, and Ben does a lot of the of the uh, guitar leading with that, you know, and singing. Uh, but incredible, incredible young man. We're kind of proud of him. We're kind of he's kind of our adopted baby in a way. Uh, yeah. Is he in his 20s? Is he? Uh, 35. He's 35. He's the age of my oldest daughter, yeah. And he has no family. 
I mean, he's not married. He's, he's not married. married. Yes. As yet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. and, oh, by the way, he has to raise his own support. So if you feel that, if you feel that, just get a hold of us and, and uh, we can get back to him. And, uh, but anyway, very powerful young man. We're, we're very proud of him and, and he keeps him in touch with us about what's going on. And, uh, now, Okay, I just want to I just want to do a little, not only a little bragging, but uh, if if we can boast in the Lord, we can get away with. It. But uh, the church with no walls met this morning. Uh, Pastor Bullock and I co-pastor that, and uh, we uh, we're just having an incredible time. It's amazing <laughs> what the Lord is doing. Down for the no, well, previous no. Year, well, yeah. we did, but. Uh, he found a couple spots where they'll let us in. They took some begging, some pleading, some whining. And Still in the camper. No. Oh, no. Oh, You're no. Out no. Of no. no. Uh, on October 31st, we no longer can be in the campground. So, uh, and I've wanted to, well, we both talked about this, you know, maybe continuing in the winter somewhere, and uh, nothing would ever work. And this year, I just kind of gave up. I'm not even going to try, you know. Well, all of a sudden, you know, some of them, different ones, said, "Well, let's just let's keep going." I said, "Okay, we'll try." And sure enough, doors opened up, and and uh, we were able to meet in Eureka there. They belong, offered it to us, uh, a, a nice facility. It belongs a retirement community, and they have a, like a what we call it, a, a building that they can gather in. Social center, they call it. It's got a nice open banquet room, you know, about the size of this. Just this section here, you know, it's real nice and, and uh, very nice, and we get it free of charge. And, and uh, Maple Lawn just wants to bless us, and so we had a Holy Ghost encounter this morning. Um, Al Oliver was leading the worship, and we have had several here recently. Mm -hmm. um, Al was leading the worship, and um, we kind of paused there in this. Uh, somebody in that room that really needed some healing. And so I, I invited somebody, anybody who was hurting, and there was a woman there who had an, just an incredible story, and she'd been abused in an abusive relationship for years, and we just had a great time with Lord. That's right, and, and you know, here's the thing, the enemy was so trying to destroy her even after, after all her issues in life, and she was trying to get away from uh, that abusive relationship, and she even had family members that were just hurting her and driving her the, the, the wrong direction, and she was losing hope. In that community where she's at, she's, she's even abused by the, the residents. Verbal abuse, there. yeah. It's supposed to be a faith-based community. Can I be excused? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't you love him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, wow. It's so good to be 